Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the sample and hold circuit by using operational amplifier, right? So, so I will explain how this circuit works. What is the sampling state of this circuit and what is the what is the holding state of this circuit and how how you can design this circuit in your LT spice tool and how you can run the simulation it so this is operational amplifier you can see here this is ltc6247 so i have considered here operational amplifier ltc6247 if you want to reason if you want to know the reason to choose this this operational amplifier is you have to choose the operational amplifier which is having very high slew rate so you have to i'm repeating again you have to for the for sample and hold circuit you have to select the operational amplifier which have very high slew rate if you go and see the data sheet for this ltc ltc 6247 it it has very high very high slew rate i don't remember right now but if you go and find you can find it could be like like uh, 40 volt per microsecond or 60 volt for per microsecond so reason for selecting this operational amplifier for simulation purposes you have to use very high slew rate operational amplifier right so this is operational amplifier and you can see here this is your input signal uh, let me show you the configuration of input signal so it is sine sine wave and i have considered it 2.5 2.5 dc offset i will show you in simulation how this looks like an amplitude of 1 volt that means that means your dc your starting value will be 2.5 volt and it will it will it will swing around 2.5 volt plus 1 volt and 2.5 volt minus 1 volt right i will show you in simulation guys so this uh, uh, let us say the frequency for this signal is 1 kilohertz here so now let us say this v2 is your analog signal you you should remember this your v2 is your analog signal which is having a dc offset of 2.5 volt and plus minus 1 volt swing with the frequency of 1 kilohertz so this is this is all about your analog signal which is being which is being uh, sensed by let's say your adc here at the output okay so this is your analog signal power supply for this ltc6247 is i have considered right now 15 volt but i i, I haven't seen in the data sheet so maybe before before uh, since this this uh, video is for educational purpose uh, if you're going to build this circuit please please check the check the power supply for 6247 i i have simply uh, took from the library i haven't seen the power supply what is the power supply but for simulation purpose i used 15 volt now so since you have your supply you have your analog signal above zero volt above ground so you you not need to use your negative power supply that is the reason i have connected the negative of this power supply to the ground now let us let us come to this mosfet here you can see i have used one n channel mosfet right one n channel mosfet and which is which may have some the rds on it has uh, let's say 4.2 ohm rds on and the gate of this n channel mosfet is connected to a pulse uh, that is that is pulse here you can use a free running multi vibrator or a stable a stable multi vibrator for the simulation purpose i have used here a pulse signal let me show you the pulse signal so initial voltage is 0 volt v on 5 volt and t on is 50 micro second time period is 100 microsecond so that is the configuration of this this gating pulse 
so this is this is being used to turn on and turn off this of the this this mosfet right now we have c1 so do you know what you can call this this is a c1 this is nothing but this is a holding capacitance right holding capacitor it hold the value it hold the voltage when this mosfet is when this mosfet is turned off and it is being charged it is being charged by a a, a resistance which is which is connect which is internal resistance of this mosfet that is rds on so it is being charged by this here right and again to avoid any loading effect again i have used one more open so this is open buffer in the first stage this is open buffer in the buffer in the second stage that means we have to open voltage follower why we use voltage follower because since you know that open has very high input impedance so it nullify the loading effect here the loading effect of your analog signal your analog signal and in this stage it will nullify it will it will nullify the unnecessary discharge of this capacitor C1 since it has very high input impedance. Okay, so so guys, hope you under you have understood how this circuit. Uh, I have designed this circuit, and you may also able to design this circuit right. And let me run the transient analysis now. So go at the simulate button, edit simulation command for transient. I have. I have here a stop time is two millisecond. Okay, so let me run the simulation, guys. Let's go. Here we go. Okay, so I will have two window. Let me this add three plot pane. So in the first plot pane, I will show you the input signal. Let us click it here. So this is your input signal, right? Bingo. Very good and this is your sampling frequency right you can see here your sampling frequency and here i can show you the state of sample and hold okay so this is sample and hold you have now three window first is input what is your adc signal which is coming from let's say your real world environment any sensor and it is analog signal and then you have then you have your sampling frequency fsw and then this this stage is the output of sample and hold circuit right so you you have to also remember that according to the nyquist criteria your sampling frequency should be greater than at least three times greater than your analog signal frequency so you can see here you this is an analog signal which is one kilohertz and you can see here this is sampling frequency which is higher than your your analog signal okay so guys this is input signal this is sampling frequency and this is your output signal you can clearly see that this when your this the, this is on state of your mosfet when your mosfet is on your signal is follow your let me show you here right so so this is sampling frequency right so you can see here let me delete this two for now right this also i will delete so that you will have better visibility for now let me change the color here right this could be this color and this could be some other color let's see yep and now you can see this is on time of your mosfet right when your mosfet is on your 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 output signal is follow your input signal you can see clearly here you can see the output fall output signal is follow your input signal and this period when your mosfet is on it holds the state it holds the signal so whatever voltage here you can see let's say here you have 2.79 voltage when your mosfet was on at the same time this and in the hold state holding state you can say this is the same voltage here again whenever your mosfet is on your capacitor gets charged and the and your output follow the input signal here 
and again it hold the state so what i would say this this is your this is your sampling state when your mosfet is on and this is your hold state when your mosfet is on off so guys hope you you are able to des design your sample and hold circuit by using operational amplifier and you have now clear with your concept how will you design this circuit i will upload this file in the google drive and i will share with you to do your own practice thanks for your patience if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section